you have a data, data means basically a variable. Okay. The one question also possible. See, in whatever the question means, if, if it is two, three, four, five, ten, thirty percent questions are very easy. Huh? That very easy question also you may make error on that. So that very easy questions come up like this topic. Okay, the variables. What is that variable means? So variable is basically whatever the information, the characteristics information you are collecting. And if you are talking about the variable, normally variable is of two types, qualitative, quantitative. So the question comes, what is like, they, they directly give you a variable and ask if it's a qualitative variable or quantitative. Qualitative means categorical. Quantitative means continuous or discrete. Okay, so they just give you a variable, any variable, and they will ask you, this is a qualitative variable or quantitative variable. This is the example of qualitative variable or quantitative variable. Or they will ask the question like, uh, out of the options, choose the qualitative variable or quantitative. Very simple question. Okay, but if you have an idea, then simple is only if you know that. If you know 2 plus 2 is 4, very simple. But if you don't know to how to add, it's very difficult to. Okay, so qualitative variable, the variable, you can imagine any variable, they will fall into this two category, qualitative, quantitative. And what do you mean by qualitative means a variable which represents the quality. Okay, like gender, male, female, religion. Okay, quantitative means they have some quantity, means whatever, if I'm saying male, so it's a group of people. Female, it's a group of people. It's not individual. That's why it's representing a quality. Okay. Quantitative means a, a, that value itself has a quantity, a magnitude to present something. Okay. Like I'm saying your weight is this. So your weight is this much. Okay. And if you will see the qualitative and quantitative variable, like see this example, sex, religion, severity of disease. Okay, there is a difference between these three variables. Sex, male, female, religion, Hindu, Muslim, Sikh, Isai, severity of disease, mild, moderate, severe. They all are categorical? Yes. But in severity of disease, you know that moderate is always above the mild. Severe is always above the mild and moderate. There is an order. So qualitative variables are again basically two types, nominal and ordinal. Nominal means there is no relationship between the categories. Ordinal means there is a relationship between the categories, either it's ascending or descending. Okay. And again, see, this is concept only. It's not a very difficult thing to remember. From the word also, it's clear. Ordinal, there is an order. Nominal, there is no relation. Okay. So every step I'm trying to explain in such a way that you think from your side and give the solution. Then it's easy for you to remember also. Okay. So again, if they are just giving rather than direct qualitative, quantitative, what which one is the ordinal variable or which one is the nominal variable, something because few questions are like very easy. But again, if you have idea, then only it's a very easy, okay? And in quantitative variable also, means it represents some quantity. And if it re represents the quantity, like height, weight, number of episodes. So height is fine, this much height. Weight is fine, this much weight. Number of episode, or if I will say number of accident, per day, number of accident on that Sabdarjang road. road. Okay, so this is quantity, no doubt. Okay, one day it's zero accident, one day five accident, one day ten accident. The value represents some quantity, but without unit. It's just a number. So depending on that, quantitative variables divide into the two groups, continuous. Now you see, continuous is not the quantitative. Under quantitative, con continuous variable are discrete. 
ओके सो कॉन्टिन्यूस वेरिएबल्स मीन दो यूनिट ऑफ मेजरमेंट and those don't have the unit of measurement like number of episode number of lymph nodes number of accidents that is called discrete or discontinuous variable but this is also quantitative because it's not category it's it, the value have some magnitude okay the basic idea for that and if this basic idea is very important because one two question is surely come to choose the test which test is appropriate so how to choose the test that depends on this type of the variable okay so this is very important to understand that okay what is the type of the variables then only you are able to choose the because this type of variable is basically the so whenever you uh, there is any question related to choose the test so first you try to identify your outcome measure and that outcome measure is basically some variable and that variable may be qualitative or quantitative then accordingly you will choose your test so these all are linked okay